Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to your next Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. So today's routine is gonna be a chair-based training routine. There's gonna be six exercises. We are either for the most part going to be seated or we will use the chair for some support in some of these exercises. So what's gonna happen is the first time around, I'm just gonna tell you where we're, where, what muscles we're working, where we should be feeling it, what to focus on for technique. Second and third time around, you're gonna get a built-in 30 seconds rest. It's gonna be a little quicker pace. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be the squat from the chair. Now what you might wanna consider doing here is grabbing a cushion if this is a too low starting position for you, okay? So the squat from the chair is going to work our quadriceps and our glutes as well as our hamstrings a little bit. So all we're gonna do is have our feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out just slightly, just come straight up from right here, okay? And go right back down under control, watching to make sure our knees are not caving in. So let's get into that. We're gonna do 10 reps together. Here we go. One, just everything in your own control. Two, maybe that means you're not squatting all the way down to the chair. Maybe it means you're going to here and coming right back up. That is all good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And 10, great work. We're going back down to our chair, so take a seat. The next exercise that we're gonna do is called a cross body chop. So we're just going to go five on each side. We're gonna take a weight. We're gonna go low to high like that. That's gonna work our obliques both. So we're gonna feel that in our shoulders, okay? We're gonna go five and then we're gonna switch over and do five on the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, and other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome job. So our next exercise, we're gonna use both weights. We're gonna do a hammer curl. So we're gonna hold the weights in each hand, and we're going up just like this. This is going to work our bicep muscles. And we're gonna go ahead and do 10 of these together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. So, what we're going to do next is a seated overhead press. So, that's just us pushing the weight over our head like that. If you have any shoulder problems that make it hard for you to put your hands over your head, you can always press out like that or maybe even use slightly lighter weight. Either option is totally fine. If you wanna work on range of motion too, you can always just do this with no weight. It's nice to be able to make sure that we can reach our hands over our head. So you can always just try your best unloaded and then work up from there. So we're gonna do 10 of these together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. So, the next exercise, the next two exercises, actually, we're going to be in a standing position, okay? So, you do not need to use weight for either of these. I'm going to show you just in case you do want to use weight. This is going to be the deadlift. Our toes are going to be pointed forward for this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge back, bend our legs, keep our back nice and straight, come up and squeeze our butt at the top, okay? So that's gonna work basically the whole back side of your body. Again, this is kind of a more difficult one. We wanna make sure we're not hunching over like this. And then coming up, we wanna make sure we're bending our legs, pushing our hips back, and then coming straight up. Pretend like there's a string pulling your hips backwards. So let's go ahead and get into 10 of those together. Here we go. One, keeping that back nice and straight. Going with the range of motion you feel comfortable with. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Great job. So we have one exercise left and that's going to be the calf raise. So what I want you to do is you can touch that your chair for some support, but we're just coming up on the balls of our toes to the best of our ability, okay? And so we're gonna go do 10 of those. Remember, keep your hand on the chair if you like. If you don't feel like you need it, you can just do 10 regular calf raises. So again, just coming up on my toes. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. We're gonna go back to the chair and we're going to start our second round. I always just like to say this as a reminder please go ahead and join our strength training support group on Connect. And if you're a clinic member, you can always reach out with any questions that you have. Just send your care team a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Let's go into our 10 squats. Here we go. One, two, and remember just sitting back with the squat also helps and so does controlling the range of motion. So again, you might want to have a pillow underneath so that maybe you're not going down as far. And we're going to call that seven, eight, nine and ten all right let's drop it back down to the chair you're gonna get a 30 second rest period and i will see you back here for those chops Welcome back. Let's go into our chops. Five on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. In 30 seconds, we'll be back here for the hammer curl. Let's go ahead and get into our hammer curl. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. We have one more seated exercise, and I will see you back here in 30 seconds for that overhead press. Welcome back. Let's get into our overhead press. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. We're going to get ready to stand up and do our deadlift.
Let's get to that standing position and we're gonna do the deadlift. Here we go, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, great. Let's put that weight down and we're gonna go ahead and do our calf raises in 30 seconds. Welcome back, here we go. Remember, hold on to that chair for some support if you need it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Really great work. We are coming to our third and final round in this sequence. So let's go ahead and get on into those squats. Here we go. One, everything within your comfort and control. Two, so use the range of motion you feel comfortable with. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10, super job. See you back here in 30 seconds for the cross body chop. Here we go, let's get into our cross body chop. One, two, three, four, five, great. One, two, three, four, and five, well done. We'll be back here in 30 seconds for our hammer curl. Get into the hammer curl, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. One more seated exercise. That is that overhead press. We'll be back here soon. Here we go, 10 overhead press. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Coming to a close, you're doing great. Two exercises left. I'll see you back here in 30 seconds for the deadlift. All right, let's get into our deadlift. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, awesome. One last exercise left is the calf raise in 30 seconds. into our last calf raise. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hey, awesome job. Way to take some time to prioritize your, your health, focus on getting stronger, and I hope to see you back here for another strength training routine soon.